Good morning, Clanks. It's Tuesday. Now, Adam, you mentioned yesterday that my videos are the ones that are geared towards tech news. Now, while I can agree with you for the most part, I like to think of it more as geek news. For all things geeks like, you know, like video games, TV, movies, that kind of thing. I don't discriminate here. Also, I've been experimenting with my jump cuts. Last week's were really fast and sudden because I can't really talk in long sentences without stumbling over my own words. But in the coming weeks, we're gonna fix that. At least I hope so. Uh, uh, On to news. Steam has announced family sharing. This is gonna be sweet when it comes out. Basically, Steam users can share their entire library with anyone they want. So if someone like Lucas has The Binding of Isaac, and I don't have The Binding of Isaac, but I wanna play The Binding of Isaac, I can record Quest access from Lucas to access most of his games. Now notice how I said most. Some games won't work with this because of their DRM. Assassin's Creed 3 and Grand Theft Auto 4 are two that come to mind. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, the catch is that only one person can use the library at a time. So if you want to play your games, but someone else is sharing them, they will be the ones that get booted off. So I don't know if you guys will remember the LG Nexus 4, but that was Google's own flagship phone that ran stock Android. This was a hugely popular phone because you get it for $300 off contract. Well, because Google is getting ready to release another Nexus phone, they dropped the price on this already insanely cheap, awesome smartphone. And they just announced yesterday that they have completely sold out all of them, which is kind of crazy. And sad. I kind of wanted one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm forgetting. So apparently some big game came out today. I don't really remember, but it was like Grand 5 Auto Theft or something. And this game's supposed to like sell a billion copies, stop the next gen from happening. I don't really know. It's just what I've heard. No, but seriously though, I really want to play this game. It looks amazing. Some Zelda game's supposed to come out too? Eh, who cares? Everyone's gonna be playing GTA 5. Okay, so I found the coolest thing ever yesterday. It's called the Crosslink, and it's basically like a super cable. On one side, you have a typical USB port, but on the other, you have three types of connections. You have a 30-pin connector, you have a lightning connector, and you have a micro USB connector, all on the same tip. Now, I know this works for charging. I don't know if it works with syncing with a computer, and I can almost be sure that it won't work with multiple devices at once. But just because it's super cool and I have things with each of those connectors, my HTC, my iPads and iPods, and my phone, which is being recorded with, I bought one. It's gonna be fantastic. It's only $20. That's cheaper than a lightning cable from Apple. The worst thing that could happen is if it only works with charging, which is what I typically do with these cables anyways. So I'm going to assume it's safe to say that none of you guys watch Dancing with the Stars, and I'm not saying you need to, but Bill Nye is one of the contestants. Yes, the one and only science guy is on Dancing with the Stars. And I'm not saying you have to watch it. That's not at all what I'm saying. But you should go online and vote for him. He had the lowest scores last night, but we can team up and keep him in the runnings. Now about running, I'm pretty sure Marshawn Lynch right now is the scariest person in the world. Most of you probably don't know, but he's a running back for the Seattle Seahawks and they play the 49ers this week at their home stadium. Seattle Stadium is significant because it's like kryptonite to every other team. They went 11 and five last season, but at their home stadium, they went eight and zero. Needless to say, the 49ers got utterly pounded. 29 to three was the final score. It's okay though, my fantasy team won because Aaron Rodgers decided to go beast mode on the Redskins. Now, as you guys know, I bought a car for $500 and it's pretty much as good a car as I could ask for. For $500, it was an incredible deal. But how far would that 500 miles take me? Well, it turns out over 300 miles actually. My car went from the Central Valley all the way to the Bay Area and back with zero problems. Minus the slipping clutch, but that was already happening. So the fact that it was able to do that with that slipping clutch is awesome. God, I love my car. And Adam, now is the time of the video where I answer your question of the week. Keep finding myself wanting to say question of the day because the SATs are stupid. Now, I'm not really sure who I would go with. I mean, part of me is saying, Caleb, your answer's gotta be legendary. The other part is saying, legend, dairy. So Barney Stinson until future notice. See you next week, peace. Okay, future Caleb, this is going to be at the end of the video. Put this one at the end of the video.